and we'll watch this. It's Military Behemoth versus Military Behemoth in the first brawl to explode them all. That That's what we're calling this, the brawl to explode them all. Here we go. Uh, this is actually kind of funny, in my opinion, because it's, it's just, you know, little, giant ship versus giant ship. How is this not cool? Actually, I think they're just gonna, yeah, they're just gonna sit here and brawl. That's what this is. They're gonna be like, yo, yo, hit me, hit me, come on, hit me. Let's get good. I am the Gamer Under Development, and this is Endless Space 2 Penumbra. We are playing as the Diasporid, our custom community faction, and we left off dominating the galaxy. Uh, we're still doing that, though, just in case you're wondering. Uh, okay. So, a neutron star has been discovered. Does that mean that our fleet made it down to that other M2, or are we looking at this one? I think we're looking at this one because it zoomed us over here. Still curious about that one. Uh, it's crazy that the choir can start on any special node, because now I'm like paranoid about all the special nodes. <laughs> Akamar here would be a wonderful system for us to capture. That's something I think we were looking at. However, we'd have to clear those pirates out, although the pirates are probably causing problems for the Lumeris anyway, so I don't know why they haven't cleared them out. Unless they've bought, like, peace with them. That's probably what it is. They're probably paying them to be chill. Which is fine. I mean, that's, that's a workable solution for sure. Uh, okay, so we could come down here and start invading Imex next. That's not a terrible plan, but I think we'd rather do that with our big invasion ships that we have coming in right here. They still haven't arrived, guys. That's terrible. Okay, so we're gonna have them land. And what we need to do is we need to find one of those taxi fleet. There we go, that one. And are you guys going up to the... Yeah, so they're going up to the rejuvenator thing, which is fine, but also not particularly necessary from them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them down here instead. It'll take them two turns to get down to our seed ships, but then they'll be able to boost the movement of those seed ships, which will make those ships more useful. And in the meantime, we'll come up here to Bellatrix and we'll just pop out a single taxi. Just one. That's all we need to go float around that system and give us a uh, quest com completion up here in Kyrus. So we'll do that. Uh, we have our combat fleet right here kicking butt and taking names. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun fight. Uh, okay, so we could go in with either of these combat fleets and they're... Well, this one's not completely at half strength, but that one is. Uh, let's go in with these guys. Let's go in with these guys and see what we can make happen. Shabam! Alright, so... Let's go to advanced here because I want to know if they're going to be able to fly three flotillas. They're not. They're only going to be able to do one flotilla, and it's right in the center, which means we know every one of our lanes should be able to hit it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everybody down into the bottom in that case, except for, of course, our support vessels, which are going to stay in the top and middle lane just so that they can fill those lanes and give us a flotilla bonus, uh, as well as taking shots along the way from these guys. So their fleet comp is primarily projectile, projectile, oh wow, they are almost all projectiles. They have a couple of energy weapons in there, but they're very weak energy weapons. So we could go for whole plating here and absorption, or we could go after... I'm gonna do take trophies again. Take trophies has been a money maker for us, guys. It has been absolutely phenomenal. And we're gonna go ahead and watch this, and then we'll do the fight. Let's see it. I want to see- No! It didn't show it because they retreated. Oh, okay. Sad times. They ran away, guys. They ran away. I was super excited because that fight was going to be brutal, and they were just like, nah, we're cool, bye. Uh, okay. So if we could get some big siege fleets up here, that would help. That's only losing 78 per turn as far as manpower goes, which isn't very much at all. Uh, these guys are waiting for their fleet, which is fine. Fine. Okay. Looks like we're done with this turn. Uh, we should check our hacks real quick, too, though. It does look like both of our hacks are currently active, which is great. Uh, okay. Gosh, I love our trade right now, guys. Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful trade screen right there? Uh, so we were working on that before we cut out at the end of the last episode. I want to get that up to five as well. I didn't mean to actually go into dust on these. I realistically should only be going into resources because we're not the Lumeris. If you're the Lumeris, you get a ton of stuff to counter dust inflation. And in that case, investing in dust in these is probably more beneficial. 
But in our situation, resources are way better because we can dump them on the market and make dust. And that dust, like resources do not increase your dust total, so they don't actually increase your dust inflation. Hence why getting resources is generally better. Uh, but like I said, with the Lumeris, it's a little bit different because they have a, a way of getting around some dust inflation, and that can be really, really strong. So that's fine. Let's end our turn. Look at that. Everybody else is all, like, neat and organized, and we're just like this, this sort of marauding lump in the galaxy. Uh, okay. So this is the pirates that we sent these guys after. They are heavily in energy weapons, so we could go shield absorption here, but I'm honestly going to go for uh, take trophies because we want to test out this new fleet and see how it does. This is our big, big combat fleet. Uh, they're only going to get one lane, so this should be a slaughter. This should be an absolute slaughter, guys. I hope you're as excited to see this as I am. Go, baby. They shouldn't run either because they're pirates, so we should actually get to see this. Ooh, plus 25% long-range defense. Good choice, good choice. Alright, here... What the... Minimize that one, please. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this up to two times, and... I'm gonna focus in on one of their ships. And then maybe... switch to autocam? No. No, I'm gonna focus in on one of their ships, and we're just gonna watch them burn. Go, baby! Look at that! Oh, look at that! Already one is just gone. The next is melted, too. That was so fast. But can they hit this guy? Why, yes. Yes, they can. Do you know what those were, guys? Those were boarding pods. We just watched boarding pods hit that guy. Decisive victory. We must have got him with the boarding pods. I bet you we did. Yes, we did. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to probably sell that pincer because it doesn't do us any good as is. Cannot modify ships and encounters. Oh, okay. Uh, weird. Very weird. Is this another fleet that attacked us here in my all? It must be. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. We'll take their money this time. We shall take their money and we shall move everybody into the optimal positions and go. If they want a second fight, we'll take a second fight. I mean, at this point, we're just racking up the science and the dust. Uh, it is really weird that it did that, though. Like, I, I wonder if a new fleet spawned this turn and that's why that happened? I don't know, guys. I don't know. What I do know is they about to get riggedy riggedy wrecked. This is them. This is them now. Watch them in just a few moments. Ah, beautiful. There we go. Show me the destruction. Oh, they already got shields coming up. That ain't good for them. Beautiful stream of missiles and boarding pods. Missiles and boarding pods going in heavy here. How did that entire wave of missiles miss? That was crazy. Okay, but a couple of that salvo hit. And they're done. Yeah, it didn't take much. Did not take much at all. That is crazy how quickly we're mowing stuff down with this fleet. Uh, 360 dust, 120 science. Very nice. Gained control over the constellation Andromeda, so we get a 15% science bonus. Awesome. Uh, Sable has been compromised. Sable being hacked again. We are constantly hacked from Sable. I had assumed it was coming from these guys. If it's not, it's either coming from our Hisho allies, or it's coming from the choir. All right, choir. Man, the choir is under my skin, guys. Like, the choir is making me think like it's everywhere, and we're just not seeing it somehow. How are they everywhere, guys? How are they everywhere? Freaking out over here. Uh, okay, give me some extra siege damage on this fleet, please. That's perfect. And the Mavros pop is up to 12. Can we eat it yet? That's, that's what really matters. Can we eat the Mavros? Oh, it's not up to 12. Why did it... Oh, it's up to 12 in that system, but we gain a Mavros Pop. Yeah, so we only have three Mavros Pops. Sad times. Uh, and the Hisho population has gone down. Also, not sad times. Don't care. Uh, let's see. You're all good. Pop is fine. Okay. 
And market-wide price increase. That's fine. We don't use the market very much right now, so we're not super worried about it. The only thing we wish we had access to the market for right now is for heroes, and we just don't, and there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, oof, we're gonna get wrecked if we go for this fight right here, so we're not gonna take that. Instead, what we'll do is... Hmm. Repairs and upgrades the selected ships. That could be useful. Let's, let's repair everything to start with. Uh, and then maybe we can take that fleet. I doubt it, though. I really do. Because they have two larger ships. Yeah, they have two larger ships with pretty good defenses. And we've just got a bunch of little guys and an extra Fey Ring. Uh, I'm going to sell the Fey Ring for one. For two, I'm probably going to go ahead and garrison all of these guys inside uh, Wardan. And then we'll take this guy who is our hero and we'll make him... Hmm... I don't want to make him a governor somewhere, because that's just kind of a waste at this point. So what I think I'm going to do, provided this works, uh, and I may need one more turn to pull this off unless the taxi fleet gets here right now. Oh, it did. Nice. Okay, so let's merge those up. We have 4 of 18 movement right now. That's not the best. It's not what we want, but it's okay. Uh, and that is not an allied system. Cordana is, or Corana is ours, so we could go back there. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Karana here, and we'll probably just take this hero ship and fly it, you know, over here. Just somewhere safe for a moment so that we can take our time putting that hero where he needs to go, which is at the head of a fleet, but it's gonna be at the head of the fleet that has our tech seeker guy, and the reason for that is because this guy can actually go on the front of a siege fleet and increase their siege damage quite a bit. Uh, and that's what we really, really want out of him. He's still an excellent combat hero, like we could still use him for other things, but this right here is just amazing. Authoritarian leadership will make his sieging so much more efficient. Uh, in fact, if we wanted to, we could probably pull him off right now regardless. Let's go ahead and fix everybody in that fleet, and then we'll just pull this guy off. Uh, we'll unassign him up here. Bam! Oh no, y'all lost your fleet commander. Sad times. It's all good though, because we have another one for you. Wait, why Why can't he... Huh? Why is he not selectable? Oh, because he's in transit now. I just screwed that up. Okay, that's that's okay. We'll have him come back to Wardan, or actually, we'll just, we'll just send him there. Send him there and make him part of the fleet. That's fine. Uh, right here, we are... Selling this pincer, now that those combats are over. And potentially invading. If we can. I don't know why it's saying we can't invade right here. System is being guarded. By whom? He show get out of here. What are you doing? Okay, well, we're gonna see if this He show Behemoth decides to stick around, because if it does. We're going to have a problem, and we're going to have to tell the Hishu to get their ship out of our territory. I don't know why that ship is there. Honestly, I'm not sure what the Hishu think they're doing. Ooh, let's do this. Let's bring these guys down here to meet our new hero for them. And yeah, you're fine. You can probably just... We're going to attack here. They're going to retreat, or they're not. Either way, this is going to be gorgeous. We're just going to massacre them. Uh, since there's a pretty good chance they will actually stay and fight this time, we'll go ahead and, and organize it and see if we can watch the fight. Because these fights are just getting more and more beautiful to me. I don't know about you guys, I but then again, we're winning. Like, it's always great when you're winning, right? You're just like, yeah, look at that. That's how we do. Oh, they split into three. Okay. They actually have three full fleets. This should be interesting. That actually means that I probably made some mistakes about positioning, because we may not be able to hit this long ship at all. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. We should grind down this middle and bottom uh, lane, though, very, very quickly. If not, almost immediately. Like, we should... This part should just be gone. Very, very quick. Uh, yes? Oh, no, we're starting at the bottom. We're starting at the bottom. The big ship on the bottom is gone. Uh, we've not lost anything yet, but one of our supports looks to be taking damage. Let's go to an auto cam here for a minute. Oh yeah, look at that. Our supports are holding up and their ships are popping everywhere, but they've got that one final lane that we may not have range on and we just lost a support ship. Worse than losing a support ship, I think we just lost a support ship to a boarding pod, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, and we have no means of firing on the, the remaining fleet of theirs, but they do have means of firing on our medium support in the middle. So that ship is gone now, and yeah. This is where we should have positioned slightly differently. Because now we can't even touch them, and they can't really touch us either. You notice you're not seeing anyone even firing there. Uh, we just ended up on opposite sides of the battlefield. We did get a ton of dust and in or science, though, and oh, look at that. They captured our two biggest fleets. They didn't loot, like, they didn't blow them up. They captured them. That's annoying. That is extremely annoying. However, it's okay, because we also have this fleet here, too, and they can get them back. Uh, all right, so this time we're going to be a little bit more careful about the way that we arrange things, although they're no longer in three lanes, so it doesn't matter. Instead, we're just going to go all out bottom lane like we did before. Yes. Yes, you can probably go right here to try to split some of that damage in the middle a little bit more, and then we'll do that. That should be fine. Uh, and let's look at the damage types here. That is projectile, projectile, none, and none. Wow, the big tanks don't have really any damage, do they? Uh, okay. So this little guy somehow has a ton of attack power. Don't ask me how, but it looks like primarily their weapons are projectiles. So we're going to go with this and let it play out and see what happens. Uh, plus 25% hole plating penetration on weapon modules. I bet you they use that to capture ships more. That's probably what that is. Uh, anyways, it should be fine. We should either kill or capture back our ships right now. Go, guys. You got this. You got this. We have faith in you. Uh, I'm going to switch to the overview cam here. We don't use this one very often, and I actually really like it because it gives you a better idea of what's actually happening in the combat. So as you can see, this back lane is actually firing at this lane and this lane, and this lane is firing here and potentially over here. Which is why when you end up with just this lane and just this lane, you can see the flight paths are so far away from each other that you can't even continue to fire anymore. Uh, and it looks like we're going to complete this course without taking out either one of those ships because of the range. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. Okay, whatever. We got our ships back, so to speak. Uh, and we captured one of theirs, too. Or one of... They captured one of ours, rather. They captured one of our tank ships. Okay, so this is interesting to me, because basically what they're doing is they're holding out by capturing our ships. That's that's funny and and ridiculous at the same time. Yo, go right here. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Join the fleet. Okay, so we can't put them at the head of that fleet just yet. Uh, and as soon as these guys land, we will be able to go ahead and put our other hero at the head of that fleet. And we still can't do anything to these silly pirates because... The Hisho are in the way. We need the Hisho to get out of the way. And what's funny is they're like telling us that we're bad alliance mates. And I'm like, okay, but you guys are stopping us from getting rid of pirates. So how are we the bad alliance mates? Uh, let's go ahead and pop our Onyx Crystals here so that we can boost our Mavros pop. And another hack issue, which is fine. I mean, at this point, the hacking isn't really affecting us too much anyway. Um, No. I don't know why they keep offering us treaties, but giving us nothing and, and thinking we're somehow going to accept when we're capturing full systems from them that are actually mostly improved. Like, we didn't lose that many improvements in that last system. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We'll have this guy attack them. Who? Whoa, 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 whoa. When did they get a, a big fleet here? Because it's saying they... Oh, it's not a big fleet. It's just one big ship. One big ship and a small exploration vessel. Uh, okay, so one big ship means that we probably want to go at it hard with our entire fleet. We're going to go for that and aim at their behemoth. Look at how much combat power their military behemoth has. That's crazy, guys. That is just crazy. Unfortunately for them, it is all in projectiles. Which means their long-range outlook is not very good. Uh... Hmm. Can we change? I wonder if we can get away with changing our tactics right before we go into that. Oh yeah, we were totally doing this beforehand, guys. Let's see if we can find something that's going to help us out a lot against a behemoth. 20% critical attack. 
20% dodge. Plus one action points earned after battle. That's that's pretty good, but that's not going to help us against this. Plus 30% dodge chance at long. Uh, that's also going to go to short range. We'd rather have something that goes to long range. That could be interesting. Although that gets multiplied a lot more across our modules than theirs. So that's actually going to hurt us more. Uh, let's see. 25% hull plating penetration. 25% shield penetration. Um, I think that what we're going to want is this hull plating penetration. But that's also going to force us into ranges that are good for them. Whereas if we do this one... We're going to keep that behemoth at long range, and that's not a good range for it, but that's a great range for us. Then again, if we kill it with this, we get a ton of stuff. Uh, I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and we're just going to go after it with these guys. And we'll go with take trophies here, just because if we do get it then, then we'll get a lot out of getting it. Uh, guys... Guys, I, I don't know if that's the most effective way to lay this fleet out, but good try. So we're going to go like that again. Yeah, that's probably the best option. And we'll go straight after this guy. He's going to come with projectiles, so we could honestly go with some hole plating here. But I think we're just going to go take trophies here, because with as much damage as he has, I'm not even sure that hole plating is going to do anything, really. We're not counting on our defenses against this behemoth. We're counting on doing enough damage to kill it before it wipes out our entire fleet, which is not necessarily going to happen. Just putting that out there right now, guys. This is in no way guaranteed. There is a very real non-zero chance here that we just get completely destroyed. Just throwing that out there. However, they do only get to fire when they get to fire, and they have to reload just like us. So I'm hoping that us having more ships means we'll grind them down over time. Uh, it depends on how much time we actually get, though, really. Here we go. Come on, guys. You got this. Take that thing out. God, our missiles are super inaccurate. They, like, hit nothing. Come on, guys. Come on. Stop sending missiles around the top of the behemoth. Come, come on. Guys. Guys, you're killing me. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We're about to lose this whole fleet, I think. Uh, or are we? Is he unable to fire on them? It seems like he's unable to fire on them, which is crazy, because they're just levying shots on him right now. Uh, I'm gonna zoom over here. Yeah, it looks like... No, no, he's firing. He's firing. He just took out our hero ship. Uh, okay. So, I don't know if we're anywhere near breaking his tank or anything, though. Eh, his, his tank is kind of broken right now. Minor defeat. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with a minor defeat. That's better than I thought we would do. Uh, okay. But he is at half health. So now, if we go in on him with these guys, we might be able to finish him. However, there's risk there as well, because he could totally destroy us. Hmm. I say we go for it. I am a fool, though, so this is probably going to end very, very badly. I'm just throwing that out there right now so everybody knows what to expect. Uh, okay. We're not even going to get three flotillas here. What we are going to get, however, is all of these. And I may go shield absorption here, but I think I'll probably just go with take trophies again. We've already committed to take trophies. We need to get them now. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, their last ones were that and that. Okay. All of those are beneficial to us, really. Um, well, I mean, that one is. They went with Gravity Distortion again. That one is very beneficial to us. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is it. This is the final confrontation with the Valter's Behemoth. Dun, dun, dun. And there is our fleet, tiny as it is compared to that giant, giant machine of destruction. Please kill him, guys. You got this. We have faith in you. We have faith in you. Take him out. Oh gosh, we're losing a support ship already. We are losing a tank ship already. However, every volley is doing considerable damage to him. I I think that behemoth's gonna go, guys. I think we're actually gonna get it. We may lose most of our fleet here, but we're gonna get that behemoth. Unless it somehow recharges its shields and stuff right now, it's basically dead. Come on, guys. Come on. 
I got faith in you. We're halfway through, and he is real low. Come on, guys. You can do this. Be evasive. You're in smaller ships. Show him the difference of speed. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, glorious explosion. <laughs> okay. So we did take out that behemoth, and we got 600 dust and 200 science from that. Probably not enough to buy out the ships that we lost, but honestly, it was also just a cool fight. <laughs> Uh, and we got System Relic's Debris Field on Laura, or on Asilus now because of that. Oh, and we can invade now if we want to. Hmm. Nah. Not yet. <laughs> soon. Soon, guys. Soon we shall invade all the things. Okay, so this fleet needs this guy. Right? Wrong. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. So what we can do is this. Hey. Hey, can you... Merge right there. Perfect. Uh, and then we need to find that support fleet that we actually do want that guy on. And we can't assign him to it now because garbage. Uh, okay, so I assigned the wrong hero there and that kind of screwed things up for us a little bit. It's going to take us two turns to get that fleet back down there, which is fine. Uh, in the meantime, though, we do want to keep this fleet kind of at the ready because it looks like people are heading over here to Wardan and we're not okay with that. That's not something we're particularly comfortable with. Uh, okay. You, sir, are all set up to continue sieging them, which is great. And then up here, we still cannot invade this because the Hisho are in the way, which is very frustrating. Uh, fortunately, though, I don't think it's really... Yeah, Mayal's not doing anything, though, so it's not a big deal. How much are we sieging for here, by the way? Just out of curiosity. 64 per turn without any siege ships is pretty good. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that at all. The question is, where should we be instead? Hmm. I mean, being right here isn't terrible, but there's other places we could be for more benefit. And that's what we need to be thinking about, is where do we want to send that guy? Let's go here. Let's start pushing in on the Riftborn. Let's, let's let them know that we're not playing games here. Three turns to get there is perfect. Go on, guys. You got this. Uh, we should honestly check some of our systems that have been doing public 3D printing for a while as well, just to make sure they're not missing stuff, like Xenotourism. Uh, or tractable armaments. So let's go there. 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 Aha! Tractable armaments, Xenotourism. Tractable armaments, public-private printing. <laughs> or pu public-private partnerships. That's, that's one you kind of want to build. Uh, we did also have a taxi there, so let's let's break that out. What is that? Is that Viren? No, it wasn't Viren. I thought it was Viren because I thought it was a two uh, system or a two planet system that we saw that in, but it looks like I was mistaken. This is Wardan. We already know why everybody's hanging at Wardan, but where is that one loose taxi that we saw? Game, please. There it is. Bellatrix. Oh, that's that's right. That's the one we made for that quest. Good that we found it then. Okay, little taxi, go! Nice, so that taxi will be there within a turn, giving us another one of the lodestone systems in our control, which is great. Uh, sure, just, you know, fire that off anywhere. I'm sure that'll be fine. What is launch anti-cloaking measures? Ah, uh, you can only do that inside your sphere of influence. Interesting, so you can basically use that to find cloaked ships in your space. But otherwise you have to probe and then get lucky, essentially. Which is fine, that's that's actually a really cool mechanic, I think. Uh, okay. Turn is ticking. Surte was successfully hacked. Do you guys have any text that we want? Why would you look at that? Uh, OPX gear. What is OPX gear? I don't know, but that's the most expensive one, so we're taking it. Ha! Uh, okay, so OPX gear is additional manpower and health bonus. That's pretty good. Advanced Swarm Missiles is better. Advanced Swarm Missiles is actually excellent for us. That's something we want. Okay, so for this guy, we have gotten pretty much all the meaningful skills that he can have as a commander at this point. So I guess we'll go shield capacity on ships. If my oldest friend Your help is late, though it has deprived us of the glory of a bloody last stand, it is still welcome. I don't know what you're you're thanking us for. If you're thanking us because we sent a fleet to to save you guys, 
That was a long time ago. You're about, like, two episodes behind thanking us, buddy. Unless you were thanking us for that, in which case, I don't understand what you're doing. Uh, okay. So this guy has leveled. We did give him his skill point. Yes, yes. Next hero. Kren Solitus has leveled, and we will be giving him the XP boost skill. Perfect. Uh, next he'll be getting those, I believe. Yeah, this is a really strong one for him to pick up next. Uh, that one's not bad either, and that one is also really, really strong. We'll probably get the damage one right there first, though, because his fleet is typically a bunch of small fleets with projectiles, so more damage is better, because it's basically a force multiplier. Uh, in this case, we're gonna actually do a behemoth versus behemoth battle. Theirs looks to be slightly weaker than ours, go figure. Uh, and they are 100% energy and we are mix. So we're gonna go ahead and go with shield absorption here. Which should make a noticeable difference in this fight. And we'll watch this. It's military behemoth versus military behemoth in the first brawl to explode them all. That, that's what we're calling this. The brawl to explode them all. Here we go. Uh, this is actually kind of funny in my opinion because it's, it's just, you know, little, giant ship versus giant ship. How is this not cool? Actually, I think they're just gonna, yeah, they're just gonna sit here and brawl. That's what this is. They're gonna be like, yo, yo, hit me, hit me, come on, hit me. Just, that's, that's what I'm picturing is our ship literally yelling, hit me, at them as it fires. Because <laughs> they're just going, like, look at them. They're just going in a circle, firing on each other. Nobody's even trying to evade because they're in giant behemoth ships. There's no evasion here. There's just firing. <laughs> come on, guys, come on. Do the more damage. Let's turn on our, our sensors here so that we can see what's happening. We are definitely winning this fight. Uh, but that being said, the progress is slow. The progress is very, very slow going here. We're chipping away at them in this fight, but we haven't, like, destroyed them or decimated them. How many phases do we get total? Hmm. Well, we're about to finish combat here, and they're maybe at half health. That was still a good fight. We won. Like, in my opinion, we won exponentially there. That wasn't even comparable. Wait, what? How did we end up damaged badly and they're not damaged at all? I thought we were looking at our thing. I guess we were looking at theirs? I, I don't understand that. Hmm. I do not understand what just happened there. Did they take, like, no damage? Yeah, they took, like, no damage whatsoever. Interesting. Very interesting. And we took considerable damage there. And I'm not entirely sure why. They're fully tanked against energy weapons. We're tanked against a mix. And they're fully in energy. Okay, we know what happened. Uh, we're gonna get out of dodge here. We're gonna bring this guy back to Bellatrix. We'll repair him and we will re-gear him. Because basically he's suffering for being split tank and split damage. Uh, split damage is good, split tank not so good in this situation because the other enemy is a behemoth with non-split damage. So it basically means that the damage was a lot more focused than we would have liked it to be. Which is fine. That's not a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Detect stealth ships here. Anything? Anything? Okay. It does look like there's... Yeah, there's some Vaulter ships right there. Whoa, 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 why do the Vaulters have choir ships now? Have the Vaulters been somehow taken over by the choir? Hmm. Are they trading ships? How does that work? I wonder if they bought those off the market, maybe? Is the choir just, like, dumping ships onto the market or something? Uh, no, they're not. That's interesting. So yeah, I don't know why that is is happening, but it's very interesting that a bunch of choir ships belong to the Vaulters. I wonder if the Vaulters are at war with the choir. Can we see that? I think we can. I think if we go swap positions here and we click on them, they're in an alliance with the choir, so I'm not sure how they're... Or, no, they're at Cold War with the choir, it looks like. So I'm not sure how exactly that, that is working, or how the choir is really uh, giving them ships, but that's happening. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. We have a giant ship, or a, di a giant fleet at Wardan. We have no concerns about any of that. Let's move those four back into this fleet. So now we have a 22 
ship fleet ready to go. I'm going to blockade here for a minute because we do see people in progress to arriving on this system. And if we're not needed here, we can always go down to IMAX soon. Uh, you guys are just kind of sitting here hanging out and doing your siege damage thing, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, look at that. That's very nice, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and move all those into that fleet. And what we'll do is we'll make a new fleet and put this guy at the head of it. Or, actually, where is our, our big eight? There we go. You guys are primarily projectiles? Yeah? Yeah, you are. Okay, so when these guys land here, we're going to try to put Kren Solitus at the front of that fleet. I'm not sure if it'll work because the Hisho are our allies. They aren't actually us, so I don't know if that'll work. Uh, anyways, though, guys, we are completely out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that like button. If you want to see more great content on this channel, ranging everywhere from 4X to Fire Pro Wrestling, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure to ding that bell notification because every time you ding that bell notification, our scrappy little frigates take apart a behemoth. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!